to Hell and Back, The Kane Hodder Story is a new documentary from director Derek Dennis Herbert. The documentary covers the life and career of horror actor and stuntman Kane Hodder. If you are unfamiliar with Kane Hodder, go ahead and unsubscribe to this channel now and delete your YouTube account. I'm just joking. I need all the subscribers I can get. Have you seen my channel numbers lately? Yikes. But seriously, you should check out Kane's films. He is best known for playing Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th parts 7 through 10. But even outside of playing Jason, Kane has had a hugely successful career with well over 200 credits as both stuntman and actor to his name. In addition to Kane's film career, To Hell and Back delves into his personal life with excruciating detail about a fire stunt that left him badly burned and nearly dead. He also goes over the severe bullying he received as a kid, and the documentary is, surprisingly, pretty emotional at times. I have to admit, seeing a horror hero of mine breaking down and crying, especially someone like Kane Hodder, got me a little emotional myself. It goes without saying that horror fans need to check this out. In addition to Kane Hodder, it contains interviews with many who have worked with him over the years, including Robert England, Bruce Campbell, and Elvira herself, Cassandra Peterson. I don't want to spoil the stories, but there are some great ones in there. One in particular is about a horror role that Kane was considered for back in the 80s. Pretty interesting. I was actually a backer on this project when it was first announced on the Indiegogo site a few years ago, so I was able to receive an early copy of the film, autographed by Kane Hodder and the film's director. Jealous? So any flaws with the documentary? Well, I wanted a bit more detail on some of Kane's films. I was also disappointed it didn't go into Kane's involvement in the incredibly awesome Friday the 13th game, which saw Kane return to do the motion capture as Jason. But then I watched the deleted scenes on the documentary and it was all in there. The doc itself is an hour and 40 minutes long, so the stuff was obviously cut for time. The deleted scenes contain about 90 more minutes of interview footage, so be sure to check it out after watching the documentary. Like I said, horror fans need to snatch up this documentary immediately. It's worth the watch, and I think it may even have some surprises for the diehard fans who think they know the whole story. It certainly had some surprises for me. Check out the link in the description if you'd like to purchase the movie. I didn't think it was possible, but after watching this documentary, I'm an even bigger fan of Kane Hodder than I was before. Highly recommended.